Trilithic's leakage detection system consisting of the Seeker, Seeker D, the MCA3, uh, the LAW server software does a really good job of locating leaks, putting dots on the map, uh, providing work orders, uh, but the technician still has to go to that specific location, find the impairment that's causing the leak and fix it. Uh, we've come up with some additional tools that can help him perform that task, namely antennas. Both the Seeker and the Seeker D have the ability to use different antenna types. Um, the Seeker comes with the rubber duck antenna, which is uh, a good antenna for use in handheld mode. Um, it has some directional uh, capability. Sometimes it's better to hold it horizontally. You'll get a little better, uh, uh, you'll be able to better fine tune where the leak is coming from. The Seeker D also has rubber duck antennas. There's actually two, um, one for the low frequency, one for the high frequency. For the analog Seeker, we also have a couple different sizes of dipole antennas, which you can use uh, if you prefer to get a better, uh, to help better locate the leak. For the Seeker D, we have a new Yagi antenna and for high frequency leaks, this is almost a must have. It just does an excellent job of pinpointing where on the plant that leak is. Um, it's ideal for finding hardline leaks, um, leaks and amplifiers. You can use this vertically or horizontally, but it's, uh, once you use this, you probably won't want to give it back. It really does that good of a job. Once you've located the leak, we also have um, Another device, it's called the Near Field Probe. Um, it's not an antenna per se. Uh, what this does is it detects the change in uh, the magnetic field caused by uh, the energy of the leak. So where would I use this? Well, in a, a high frequency leak, say for a Seeker D, if I know it's on an amp somewhere, I can run this probe around the perimeter of the amp and find exactly where that leak energy is radiating out. Um, I can use it with a seeker uh, in an analog leak. If, say, I, I know the leak is coming from a pedestal or a tap, but I don't know which connection is causing that leak, I can uh, uh, use this probe to pinpoint exactly where that impairment is and, and correct it. All of these extra tools are really relatively inexpensive and can save the technician a lot of time in finding the thing, then they can repair it.